She's a veteran educator with international experience. Evelyn Ellis was working in South Korea when she found out about the opening at WKU Elizabethtown Fort Knox. It didn't take long for her to realize the job would be a perfect fit. I thought any campus that has a living president that has a building named after him, they're doing a lot of great things. Dr. Evelyn Ellis says the more she researched the job of chancellor at WKU's Elizabethtown Fort Knox campus, the more impressed she became. It is clear that students matter, that faculty matter, staff matter. I mean, it is a, I mean, it's just an incredible place to be, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. She's been part of it since the end of June when she relocated from Seoul, South Korea, where she had worked for the past two years. I was the chief of staff for the 13 schools that service the children of the military and the civilians who are assigned in Korea. WKU administrators say Ellis's wide range of experience is the total package, especially when it comes to serving military families at Fort Knox and partnering with Hardin County Schools on the recently opened Early College and Career Center. I'm excited about what we can do as partners in education because we are sitting on a gold mine as I see it. Her family and friends are clearly excited about this new opportunity. Dozens of them traveled from all over the country to her welcome reception. The move also puts her much closer to her four grandchildren who live in Nashville. Usually I would call from different places around the world and they say, well now exactly where are you now? Are you in Thailand? Are you in Korea? In Germany? Where are you? WKU is where Ellis is now and if Dr. Ransdell has his way, it's where her grandchildren will be in the future. WKU class of 2023, 24, and 25, right? I'll put it on there. <laughs> Dr. Ransdell calls Ellis a seasoned educator who is student focused and knows the role of a regional campus. WKU Elizabethtown Fort Knox serves more than 900 students from 17 Kentucky counties. With this week's View from the Hill, I'm Amy Bingham.